Excellency, Madam President Thai England, Honorable Representative of the Taipei Economic and Trade Office, Teto, Mr. John Chen, Chairman of the Taiwan ASEAN Exchange Foundation, Mr. Xin Huang Michael Zhao, as organizer of Yusen Forum, all participants of annual Yusen Forum. Good morning to you all. Dajia hao, shi wang ni men dajia yi jie to bing an. It is a great honor for me to be invited to this forum. The forum brings me back to my two years tenure as the representative of Indonesia Economic and Trade Office in Taipei in 2018. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has slowed down the global economy and trade. Fortunately, Indonesia's economy in the second quarter of 2021 grew by 7.1% compared to the second quarter of 2020 last year. While I also note that according to the Asian Development Bank, the economy of Taiwan is predicted to increase by 4.6% year-on-year basis in 2021. Furthermore, France Economic and Investment Bank Noctixis, Gary NG, said Taiwan's economy in the sweet spot since the high demand of technology product globally. Taiwan's economy grew to the increasing world demand for semiconductors. Indonesia-Taiwan trade relationship has been moving quite stable. In terms of the trade trend in the last five years, it's moving by 3.6%. In the period of January, August this year, the trade has increased by 36.9%, which is signaling towards a better figure of the future trade between the two. I'm personally convinced that the number could reach even higher than it is today. To increase the bilateral trade of Indonesia Taiwan, we need to innovate and further develop the diversification of export products and markets as well as to strengthen the synergy between us. Ladies and gentlemen, Taiwan is one of the strategic partners in technology as a role model for Indonesia in terms of technology development. Indonesia is also a potential partner for Taiwan, while we acknowledge that Teto is working to promote bilateral relations in various fields such as businesses, education, culture, and tourism between Taiwan and Eastern Indonesia. Teto will have visa issues and other consular affairs, providing expatriate services and emergency relief for Taiwan citizens who are traveling in the eastern of Indonesia. In addition, due to the impact of COVID-19, e-commerce has become a fastest growing industry while promoting the digital transformation of companies. Given this new normal in the post-pandemic era, as well as changing lifestyles. The proactive deployment of digital marketing has become an important issue for all companies. Taiwan's e-commerce model was developed following the diversified competition and training of Taiwan's e-commerce market, and thereby enabling Taiwan's e-commerce companies to spring up rapidly. At the moment, Indonesia and Taiwan is still in an ongoing discussion on trade and investment issues. 
This is an opportunity for us to enhance trade and investment cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this forum will strengthen our cooperation and benefit stockholders to further boost trade between Indonesia and Taiwan. I wish a great success of the forum. Thank you very much. See you soon.